Welcome my cheeky M-words, it's the fucking king here, and today I'm going to show you how to kill that cow fight queen like an absolute chad. You may have seen my previous guide for noobs on the cow fight queen, that entire setup can go on the bin, it's garbage, scrap it. We're fully aware that mole slippers are best in slot content, everything else is a waste of time, money and space. You don't need a cape switch because the assembler's broken, everything else is garbage. And Kirill's gear is perfect in there, you can take black d hard as well if you cannot afford Kirill's, however she ranges more than melee's. That's why we've taken the Kirills. You also want your fucking BGS and of course the Ring of Suffering with recoil charges because it's the most broken ring in the game. You got an Archer's Ring or Berserker Ring? Put that shit in the fucking bin. Over in the inventory, I'm actually taking the Whip in which might surprise some of you considering she's weak to crush. So you might sit there thinking, oh the Inquisitor's Mace, the Dragon Warhammer, the Bludgeon, all that overpriced garbage is useless. She's actually barely weaker to crush than she is to stab and slash. So don't really stress too much about how much damage you're putting out as the Abyssal Tentacle is the best GP for DPS weapon in the game. So we're going to throw that in there with the Avernic Defender. Fill the rest of your inventory with shit. Obviously the blowpipe. I'm running Dragon Darts because I'm not a cheap piece of shit. That sums up the setup portion of this video pretty well. Now to get on with the kill, grab your dicks boys and follow me. We're going to use the Fairy Ring to go to BIQ. Now it's more than likely that you haven't done your Desert Diary in this game because let's be honest, you're fucking garbage. So you might want to bring some rope with you as well. But like I said, this is a guide for fucking chads. So we're going to squeeze through this fucking gap right here. Just like that. Don't worry about these two big boys. Just go straight down the tunnel. Doesn't give a damn. Drink your super anti-poison here. We're going to pray range and piety. We're going to run out here with our fucking super combat. Hit that BGS spec. Ready? Where is this bitch? There she is. Look at her. She thinks she's got a fucking chance. Get over here. Give that fucking zero. All right, garbage. Get over here real quick. Hit her again. Fucking bop. And a three for the BGS. So we know that we're doing damage so far. Just start whipping her into shape. Send her back to fucking Lumbridge. Don't expect to get too many kills per trip. No matter what you do, you're going to have a hard time at this fucking boss. I do enjoy the boss personally. She's barely fucking doing any damage. And I'm just whipping her into fucking shape. I guess you really don't need a fucking Dragon Warhammer or Bludgeon down here. Just eat your fucking food real quick to stay up top. You're good to go. Chad mode fucking activated, boys. And she's down, look at that. Barely gone through our food. We're gonna now turn off Piety and hit with that rigor with the hard R. Dragon fucking darts. We already got our range gear on, look at that. Zero switches, doesn't matter. Start hitting it with that fucking juicy No fucking worries at all. Haven't used my bruise yet, just went through the food. Pretty fucking dog shit drops, obviously no fucking pet. And typically, with the Cowfight Queen, just teleport out. Do it again. That is how you kill the Cowfight Queen like a fucking Chad. You don't need your crush weapons. You don't need your armor switches. This gear works fine, just swap your fucking weapon. That way you can bring more resources and get a couple extra juicy kills in. And just for the sweatbags out there that can't comprehend the power of the Ring of Suffering, I'll do the math and put it in the video somewhere, but I believe it did well over 20 fucking damage there in recoil damage alone. If your Berserk Ring or Archer's Ring is adding that much damage for you, I will admit defeat. But you know I'm fucking right, so you can suck a fucking fat one. See you later, cunt.